And here is our first labyrinth. So we'll kill these keys for a key. And this labyrinth offers up the boomerang. And these guys are usually at least two hits. I feel like they're three with the wooden sword, but maybe not. So I'm very happy to have gotten that silver sword before the first labyrinth here. I'm hoping to get some hearts before we head off to fight that dragon in a bit. Oh, great. <laughs> it's always nice when you get the clock at the very end of a room. Oh, perfect. Thank you. I love when fairies are plentiful in this stage of the game. And kill these little Hershey's Kisses guys. What do you have to say? Eastmost Peninsula is the secret. Okay then. I don't know if I ever figured out that particular secret. Like what it actually meant. If anybody knows, it would be nice if you could tell me. Because it's not like I've ever sat down and done like a Zelda decoder or something. All these guys are so easy now with the sword. Awesome. Let's switch over to that boomerang simply because it'll make my life a little bit easier. Oh, wall masters. I hate them. They're great for cash though and other goodies so they're good to kill. After a while they just stop giving you stuff though. But good nonetheless. And thankfully we've got full health. Not that we need it. There we go. Awesome. So our first labyrinth is complete. Okay. So now we will go on to the next big thing. Oh no, we missed the bow. We gotta get the bow. I always thought that this labyrinth kind of looked like a genie lamp a little bit. I don't know if you would agree, but that's just how I feel about it. Yeah, we definitely missed the bow. Which we won't need till the end of the game, but why not just take care of it now? While we're here, after all. All right, I talked to this guy already. It just reminds me of another room in a future labyrinth that has a block that you push that brings you down to the secret ladder room. Here we go. There we go. That would have been horrible to miss. And then I would have been saying, uh, we gotta go fight Ganon. So, <laughs> we definitely need a bow. What are we gonna do? Okay, very good. This is one of the two labyrinths where you actually get two things. The other one being the eighth one. 
where you can get the magical key and the um what's the other thing that you get in that one i wanted to say the red ring but it's not oh the magical book okay let's get the hell out of here And for a while, until we make 250 rupees, I personally have no interest in really doing much wandering around. So we'll head right to the second labyrinth from here. And just kill some guys here. They've, they've got pretty good yield for stuff that they can provide for you. Specifically rupees, which is what we're after. There are lots of secret ruby locations around the map, like it's staggering how many there actually are, if you look for them, of course. I know where some of them are, but not a ton, so it's not as if we absolutely need the blue ring to continue, so the blue ring will come in time. And plus you make plenty of money from fighting the first couple of labyrinths anyway. So we might as well do that. Oh, we don't need to go here. I think I'm too far over. I have the map from when I was a kid. Oh no, I've just got to go. That's right. I've got to go all the way over this way. I'm not too far over at all. I'm not far enough. Who would have known that that's my problem? Oh, that was a narrow escape. And there's a secret in there, too. Oops, this isn't where I want to go either. Of course, they're all where I need to go. What is in here? Oh, it's a secret rupee location. Ten dollars. All right. I think level two is right through. Not this way, but maybe... Oh yeah, it is this way. Okay. Awesome. Oh good. I'd also like to have enough money later on in the game to get the bomb upgrades. Because those are also super helpful to have as well. I'll kill these ropes as they're called in the manual. So the key to these guys is to not get in the same row as them, or else they rush you. I think back down is where we just were. Oh no. So I kind of try to stay on the, on the lines in between rows so that they don't come at me too fast. So here's our compass. I don't even know if we got... Did we get the compass in the last labyrinth? I don't remember. But the compass just shows you where the boss is. And you can see in the top left corner, there's that blinking red light. So that's kind of like your goal. That's where you're going. 
Jeez. We found the Alpha Goria, apparently. And there's our map. This is the Moon Labyrinth, you can see by the way that it's shaped, of course. I think it's funny that they were clever enough to design those things to actually look like something. It just goes to show you a little bit of the work that went into this type of design, this game design. The list of people that worked on this game is so small. When you look at the credits anyways, it's just super tiny. Usually, this room kicks my ass. Cool. So we got our boomerang upgrade. So before, with the wooden boomerang, it only meant, only went about halfway through the room. This now goes the full length of the room. So that's convenient. Yeah, so much easier with the silver sword. The white sword. And they're just giving us some bombs. I think the most bombs you can carry in this game is 16. And there's a bomb upgrade in the 6th labyrinth, and then I think again in the 7th or the 8th labyrinths. And I think each upgrade costs like 100 bucks or something. Something like that. And it's always good to spend out all your keys too. These gels are always tricky. I don't know why they feel tricky. They're truly not that difficult. Dodongo dislikes smoke. And Dodongo is the enemy that we're coming up against. Almost like a Triceratops-like creature. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but the... Gorias changed what kind of boomerangs they were using before they were using the wooden ones and since we upgraded they did as well. So that's also an interesting touch too. Alright, so let's go and kill this beast. Oh, sneaky Dodongo. That's gonna be a pain in the butt. I just wait for it to turn and face me and then you just pop a bomb right in his mouth and that's it. Wonderful. And here's our second Triforce piece.